We're taking a time trip, folks, for day 10. We're going all the way back. Uh, 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 all right, you're a reindeer. Here's your motivation. My name is Rudolph. You're a freak with a red nose. And no one likes you. Then one day, Santa picks you and says, Save Christmas. Don't forget that. We'll live forever. It's Christmas we're talking about. Ten. Day ten. But I'm in the basement. Twelve days of Jarhead Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, we're talking about an old classic, an ancient classic, the one we've all seen since the, you know we were conceived. I mean, when not when we were conceived, but uh, maybe it's Clark, cool. Who knows? You got to get old uh, Earl. You got old Earl Ives in this one, I think. Is that Burl Ives? Merle Ives? What? What? You guys sings Burl Burl Ives. They say I'm the snowman. Then you got uh, old Floyd or whatever is Nell or whatever Neville's that wants to be a dentist. There's actually a great clip. Someone did it. It's it's either on Facebook or something. But they take they take and dub the scene from Full Metal Jacket over the Toy Factory scene. From Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So that guy that's always like, Oh, dentist! He's Arlie Emery. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy that wants to be, a, the, the elf that wants to be a dentist is Joker off of okay. Full Metal Jacket. Who are you, John Wayne? Yeah, so he says that, and, and all of a sudden that, that, that head elf is like, because they all turn and go, Who? Huh? <laughs> when he says he wants to be a dentist, and he's like, Who fuck said that? <laughs> Oh, God, that's hilarious. Uh, that would be Paul Souls playing Hermie the elf. Hermie wants to be a dentist. And uh, Yukon Cornelius there promoting open carry since 19 whatever, what was it? 19 what? We'll have to outwit with our fiend with superior intelligence. He looks as he throws that pickaxe in the yep. outside. <laughs> Run like crazy. <laughs> Nothing. Let me in. This night's not fit for man nor beast. Yeah, Yukon Cornelius. Are, uh, are our characters mixed up? I don't remember Yukon saying that at all. Look, I don't know if you know this, but uh, I've been drinking. Yukon was the guy that always threw the pickaxe in and it landed on the dirt. He'd pick it up and lick it. And he'd, he's like, nothing. He's always looking for strike gold, remember? <laughs> peppermint. I've been searching for him all my life. I've struck rich. I've got me a peppermint mine. Sir, Yukon Cornelius. Oh. The Bumble Hunter. Yeah. Carried a pistol on his in his little belt there, remember? Mm-hmm. He didn't it, I don't remember remember saying anything about no goddamn peppermint mine. <laughs> well, my friend, you should probably go rewatch that movie. Is it like something he says in passing? Because I don't remember that at all. Uh, so the first line is when he first gets to like the elf compound or whatever, and he's like, "Open up! It's not fit for man nor beast." And they're like, "He's a man." He's like, "And here's the beast!" And he like bursts in. Oh yeah, I remember that part. Yeah. Yeah. He just, what the fuck is going on here? I don't know. Maybe this wig's cutting off the circulation to my. And it's cutting off the circulation to one head. <laughs> Get a little, get a little loosey goosey around here, pre, pre Christmas. Yeah, but the peppermint mine thing—I don't remember anything about a peppermint mine. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'll have to go rewatch it. Now you got a Nelson Nelson Mandela effect. Is that really what it's named after? He's big dumb animal, folks. I gotta go turn my heat down. It is getting hot in here. So when I was a kid, the scariest part of that thing was the abominable snowman. Yes, uh, I used to run and hide behind my grandma's couch. I <laughs> well, just when you first, you don't really see him yet. Yeah, they did like a, they did like a Jaws thing. I used to go run and hide behind my grandma's couch when the old abominable was coming. Oh, he's like that part when uh, he's going to eat the guy, and then he cuts his hand arms off, and then he frees himself from the snow and runs out. And... 
He almost dies in the blitters. Everybody hides in the tauntaun. That was a good part. Okay, yeah, but Indiana Jones comes and saves him, doesn't he? Yeah. So but anyway, uh, here's a clip. <laughs> Roll brace, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Hope I'm not interrupting. What does he want? <laughs> it's not what I want. It's what I can give you. Look, let's be straight, okay? It's obvious you're not some dumb schmuck up here to snatch a few purses, am I right? You're very perceptive. I watch 60 Minutes. I say to myself, these guys are professional. They're motivated. They're happening, i.e., they want something, huh? I figure you're here to negotiate. Am I right? You're amazing. You figured this all out already. <laughs> hey, business is business. You use a gun, I use a fountain pen. What's the difference? Let's put it in my terms. You're here in a hostile takeover. You grab us for some green mail, but you didn't expect some poison pill was going to be running around in the building. Am I right? Hans, Bobby, I'm your white knight. I must have missed 60 minutes. What are you saying? The guy upstairs is fucking things up, huh? <clears throat> I can give him to you. You know what, man? I don't even fucking care anymore. I don't either. <laughs> Fuck it. So, uh, hey, Merry Christmas. We're getting closer to the end. That was day 10. Uh, yep, day 10's in the books. We got day 11. We got some real nice. special coming up for day 12. It's going to be real nice. It's like quality stuff. So, uh, two, two more days of dealing with Bryce. Hey, uh, let's, uh, Let's fire his ass on Christmas. We'll put it in his stocking. Is it is his walking papers? That's it. We'll see you next time.